Okay, so after seeing a video by the Grumpy Gardener, uh, I saw these in the shop the other day, and so I decided to give them a go, and I thought I'd make a video about it. The, these are just mixed cactus, cacti seeds. Uh, I'm not sure what types are in there because it doesn't tell me, it just says they're mixed. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I've got a takeaway tub. I've drilled a few holes in the bottom and a few holes in the top. And I've got some normal compost. And I've mixed it with some sand. That's what it says to do on the packet. So I'm going to... Let's just sew them in here. And see how they go. I'll just fill this tub up with the compost mix. And it doesn't give you any instructions other than to sow them on compost sand mix half a centimetre deep, that's all it says. So I'm assuming they're quite simple to grow. I've never tried cactus at all before. The only other cactus type plant I've got is an aloe vera. So I'll put them in there, I've leveled it off, and I'm going to sow the seeds. I'm going to try and do it neatly, I'm going to probably do about eight in here. Eight or not, well, I'll probably do one, two, three, yeah I'll do eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I'm going to sprinkle some compost on top of them. It says half a centimetre deep, so... So, there we go. And this is already quite damp, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to water it. And that's that. I'll keep you updated on how they go. Thank you. So I'm just going to show you a quick video of me repotting these honeydew melon. Uh, they're getting a bit big for these little pots now. So we're going to move them up to this one. But that's quite simple. Squeeze the fingers either side of the stem. Squeeze the bottom of the pot. As you can see, it really does need a new pot now. Fill up with compost. Pop them in the middle. Fill in round the edges. Firm it, firm it down gently. And that's that. That's all there is to it. Okay, so there's the seedling update. Um, I've repotted 
a few more now, the, the cucumber melon. Oh no, cucumber crystal lemon, that's been repired and it's doing well. And the honeydew melons. I've repotted two of them, three of them, and they're all doing well. See, they're getting quite big now. Um, what have we got down here? We've got kiwi, and there's another one coming up in there. Hopefully, you can see it on the video. In the middle two, nothing from them. Uh, this one has just come out, it's got its first leaves, and you can see it, so that's good, I'm happy I've got at least two of the kiwis, and they took forever to germinate, but yeah, uh, these are the ones I haven't repotted yet, the watermelons, they're not that big yet, but they're coming along nicely still. I'll be repotting them soon probably unless I can get them out so I, before they need repotting uh, I've repotted one um, so that's the difference between repotting them and not repotting them as you can see they were both the same and now this one's got quite a bit bigger than these two, three. Uh, the cucumelon's coming along well. Yeah, still very small. Uh, the tomatoes are doing very well. Nice healthy plants. The two that I've repotted. And I do it much better than the, the ones that I haven't repotted. But again, it just goes to show that they do need repotting. You can see the difference in size between them. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all the tomatoes. I've got loads of them. And the sweet corn. They're getting quite big now, the sweet corn. You can see that they're getting quite thick chunks on them as well now. It's quite, it's quite thick. Uh, again, you can see the two which haven't been reported, which is the exact same age. The difference between the two, it's hard to show you, but there is quite a difference between them. Um, this is my giant sunflower challenge sunflower. It's doing well. I've put one of them, I've put outside underneath a, a Coke bottle, I've cut the top off and put him in a pot outside. So I'll show you that when we go out there. And he's doing alright at the moment out there, but we haven't had a really cold weather yet. We've, the other night it dropped about four and it's he's been all right so let's see how they go i'm just going to get one of these other sunflowers down to show you because they're all the same they're getting really big now but you can see they are rather large now they need to go outside soon <laughs> yeah. quite, they're quite good Yeah, that's all the seeds updated. Uh, I'll get back to you in a minute and I'll take you outside. These are the sweet corn and kohlrabi that we germinated on the paper towel. Um, as you can see, they're doing all right. Um, I put them outside a couple of hours the other day and made the mistake of putting them out in the sun and a couple of them have their leaves have got scorched but 
I'm going to leave them there, see see if they recover. If not, there's plenty which haven't really been affected too much. Um, all, the, all the sweet corn seem to have fared alright in the sun. A couple of them have got a little bit of damage to the leaves. Obviously, they where they were germinating on the paper towel in the, in the dark, pretty much. They weren't used to the sun at all, so... I put them out in the sun and they got burnt. Right. Most of this side, these ones have got burnt in the sun. But, as I say, we've got enough still, which are fine, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, it was more of an experiment than anything else. So yeah, that's them updated. Right, we're going to be very quick out here today. It's cold. Uh, so these are the strawberries. Um, we've got loads of flowers and a couple starting to develop the fruit. There's flowers all on this one as well. And lots of little buds waiting to open up. So we should get some nice strawberries this year. Um, this is a cherry tree, Stella is the variety. Um, it had some blossom, it's fell off now. I don't know if it's going to develop into cherries or not. Uh, we'll wait and see. Uh, this is the blueberry, first one. Uh, not as many flowers as the other one, but it's got quite a few. It's doing well. Uh, this is a red currant, uh, no flowers, but it's doing well. And the gooseberry. Same again, no flowers, these are only year one, uh, it's doing well. Uh, this is the white currant which I've had for uh, almost two years now. Uh, it's got quite a few buds on it. Um, yeah, that's doing well as well. Uh, so for these leaves here, I'm not sure what this brown discoloration is on these. So if anyone knows, uh, that'd be great if you could let me know. Yeah. So we've got the blueberry here, and this one's doing really well. It's got loads of flowers. All right, it's got more buds waiting to open up. And this is a giant sunflower challenge. This is one I've put outside under a bottle. With some straw around it just to keep it warm and it's doing all right it doesn't I don't think it likes being outside at the moment it's a bit cold but I just thought I'd give it a go because I've got one indoors um, these are the empress trees the little one and the big one as you can see they're getting quite big now these leaves bigger than my hand and they will get a lot bigger than that as well um, we've got broccoli which I was testing seeds and I decided to just put them outside and they're doing well and my new beds which I made with the rabbit poo compost mixed with compost and soil that's that